So how did Athens actually become a democracy? It's an excellent question, because typically when we are thinking of ancient Greece, and in particular Athens, we are thinking of democracy, but in most cases that's not an accurate picture. There was around a thousand Greek city-states at some points, and some of these were democracies before Athens ever was, but all of these would change and fluctuate over time through different forms of government, just as Athens would. Like for the longest time before it was ever a democracy, it was actually an oligarchy, as Athens in the 7th century was pretty much ruled by noble families who would control all aspects of government. Starting around the 6th century, though, with this guy, Solon, a series of reforms would begin to be made in Athens that would gradually open up the democratic process to more people to have influence and power within the government. And these changes would then gradually occur over the course of the next hundred odd years or so, with each one becoming gradually more radical in terms of democracy. Still though, only around a quarter of the population was actually eligible to vote, as these were the citizens, while the majority of the working society at that point was done by slaves. 